our counterpart association, the Belize Territorial Volunteers. We plan to visit the Sarstoon Island on the 30th, this weekend. And if you listen to the ebb and flow of yesterday's um, press conference, it was highlighted that Guatemalans traverse the Sarstoon River with impunity. We don't stop them. We don't attempt to stop them. Yet, when a group of Belizeans, unarmed, really just basically want to visit a place within our sovereign territory, a lot of red flags go up on behalf of the government. It's, all, it's as though there is a, a dual standard whereby we're being placed as second-class citizens in our country. People would say that, oh, you know, uh, the, BVP's, the, the, the BTV's goal of drawing attention to that area and what was happening in that area, basically they got what they wanted. Now why push it further? Why go to that length when you know that you're putting yourself at risk of maybe a casualty, a Belizean being killed? Definitely we do not feel that we're going too far. Is it too far to say that you want to go to a, uh, an area in your country? Now, the question remains, is the Sarstoon still part of Belize? Maybe they can answer that for us. If it was not a part of Belize, then I could understand that they're saying, well, you know, it's no longer part of Belize, so you cannot go to Guatemala. But from when last I checked, irrespective of the flip-flopping that the Guatemalan government has done with regards to so many things, incidentally, the Sarstoon is not one of them, because they categorically said that it's for them. We know that it is not. I should think that the Prime Minister and the Foreign Minister also know that. But you see, what we have is the insistence of fear-mongering. That has been taking place for many, many, many years. And <clears throat> excuse me, it ties into the cognitive dissonance, unfortunately, that a lot of our people have, whereby individuals cry wolf, and because of their elected position, all are expected to just go along with what they say. To answer your, your question directly, no, it's not taking it too far. That is Belizean territory. But at a risk, like, do people going understand the risk that they're going to take? Uh, that if an event happens, it can cause a, a, a crossfire between the military from both countries. Why, why take it to that level? There's definitely a risk in whatever you do. There's a risk if you choose to walk across the street. You know, the bottom line is this, um, in terms of the BTV, someone has to take a stand in terms of demonstrating Belizean resolve with regards to what we know is the truth and the case.